In London today, the parents of Charlie Gard gave up their legal battle to get experimental medical treatment for their gravely ill infant. More now from Jonathan Vigliotti. Charlie Gard's parents called their son an absolute warrior at London's High Court today, but they said time had run out for him after new medical tests showed irreversible brain damage. His body, heart and soul may soon be gone, but his spirit will live on for eternity. Charlie was diagnosed with a rare genetic disease that left him blind, deaf and unable to move or breathe on his own. Doctors treating him in London said Charlie could not be cured and went to court to argue he should be taken off of life support. His parents fought back and asked to take the baby to the U.S. for an experimental treatment. But after five months of bitter legal wrangling, the U.S. doctor agreed with the London hospital. There was no hope. For Charlie's father, it was difficult to accept. A whole lot of time has been wasted. We are now in July and our poor boy has been left to just lie in hospital for months without any treatment whilst lengthy court battles have been fought. Debate over Charlie's future became so heated that his doctors and hospital staff received death threats. Hundreds of protesters known as Charlie's Army supported sending him to the U.S. But in the end, Charlie's parents said they accepted they must say goodbye to their son. Sweet dreams, baby. Sleep tight, our beautiful little boy. We love you. It's unclear how long Charlie Gard will survive off life support. Anthony, his father says his son won't live to see his first birthday next month. Jonathan Vigliotti in London.